So we're gonna work on some division strategies today. Um, this is fourth grade level. These are kind of introductory division strategies. We have this problem called, well, it goes, Miss W has 136 Legos that she's sorting. She has eight bins to put them in, and how many Legos will be in each bin if she wants each bin to have the same amount? Well, we've already discussed we are dividing up these Legos into bins in equal groups. So what kind of a problem is this? Division. 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 Okay, so it's going to be what? Blank. All right, cool. So we were discussing earlier too that if you come up with a problem that's difficult for you, a lot of times we go back to like a less sophisticated strategy, a, maybe an easier strategy. And one of the best strategies, the most easy and obvious strategies is to voice, to model it, right? We're going to model it. So we could just draw our bins. How many bins do we have? Eight. eight. I've got eight bins. So now I can take those 30, 136 Legos and start putting them in the bins. Could I do that by once? Yes. yes. But it will, it will take, take so long. Forever. We don't want to do that. It's going to take too long. So instead, can we start throwing in like 10, ten Legos? Yes. yes. Ten Legos. Okay, so if we put in 10 Legos in each bin, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80. All right, we're getting closer. We've got 80. Legos put away. We've got some more to go. Can I put another 10 Legos in each bin? No. No, no that'll be too no. many. Yeah. Um, but I think I can probably do five. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, so 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 40. Okay, so I've got, I had 80 Legos to begin with that I put in. Then I put in another 40 Legos. How many Legos total have we put away? 120. 120 Legos. We're almost there. We've got 15 Legos in each bin. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how many Legos I should do now, so now I'm just gonna go by once. So I'm at what number? 120. 120. 120. 120. 1, 1, 1, I landed on exactly 136. I got all of my Legos put away. Do they all have the same amount in each bin? Yes. yes. These kind of look like my line went on top of them, but they do all have how many Legos in each? 17. 17 in each bin. Okay, so that's my answer. 136 divided by 8 is 17. This is a basic strategy we call modeling. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Next strategy. Okay, we can always skip count. But again, skip counting starting with eight is going to take forever. So let's just jump to something we can do pretty easily that's kind of high. Where could we jump to? Um, nine, um, eight times 12 equals 96. Okay, if you know eight times 12, jump to eight times 12 is 96. That's great. If you didn't know eight times 12 off the top of your head, you could always go to eight times eight. 10, 80. 10, 80, right? Okay, so if you know eight times 12 though is 96, that's the 12th multiple of eight. So 96, then what? 104. 104, then what? 112. Then? 120. Then? 128. And 36. Awesome, and that's where we want it to be. So 12th multiple, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Still 17. Another strategy. Got the same answer. Are we probably correct? Yes. yes. Odds are good. Okay. More sophisticated strategy would be using multiplication. Sit down flat. Using multiplication. All right. So kind of like we did with this one, we're going to use some multiplication that we know. I know. Actually, this was Grant's. Grant was like, Ah, oh, I know eight times eight is 64. That's easy for him to work with. He's like, I'm just gonna do eight times eight. And he said, oh, I can double that and I'll be in good shape. Eight times another eight is gonna be 64 again. And how many Legos, so if we were putting eight bins, eight Legos in each bin, another eight Legos in each bin, that's 64 and 64. How much is that total? 128. Oh, we're super close. Yeah. So we can just do one eight more group one. of eight. Eight times one, that's? Eight. And then that total is 136. 136. Okay, so how many eights did we have? 
Eight and eight and one is seventeen. Okay, cool. All right, now this is for you guys and for grown-ups. The traditional algorithm for division, also called long division, is a sixth grade standard. You guys are not going to be doing this this year. Okay, so wait on that. Traditional algorithm. Fifth grade is usually, listen, it's usually set up like this, 136, 136 divided by eight. Now you know what this symbol means and you know that this yeah. means division. So you can yeah. still solve this yeah. problem. You're just not going to do it in the long division way. Yeah. We have another strategy called the big seven, which is very helpful. So we call it big seven because it looks like a big seven. It's not a genius name. <laughs> yeah, seven. seven. Yeah, so okay, so what we're gonna do is very similar to using our multiplication. We're gonna use Whatever multiplication seems like it might make sense, usually in the biggest chunks we can do. So I know eight times, what do you want to do? 10? Eight times 10 is 80. Okay? Eight times 10 is 80. I'm going to subtract to see just how many are left that I still need to deal with. So 136 minus 80 is going to be? 56. 56. 56. 56. 56. 56. 56. Sorry. Okay. Um, well, I know eight times five is 40. So I can subtract and then I'm going to have 16 left to go. So, so far I've, minus I've done 10 groups of 8 and 5 groups of 8. And now I can just do 2, two. two more two. groups of 8, which is 16. I have none left. So I have used up all of the 8s and I did a group, 10 groups of 8, 5 groups of 8, 2 groups of 8. How many groups of 8 is that? 17. 17. Beautiful. Woo. That was like speed strategies. That was Thanks awesome. to mine.